Yo guys, welcome back to Comic 47 Vlogs, and today we're reviewing Spongebob Comics Treasure Chest. Now, uh, for those of you who are not too familiar with Spongebob Comics, if you miss the, you know, the, the classic seasons 1 through 3 of Spongebob, I would def highly, highly recommend you guys get Spongebob Comics. Uh, I think they canceled the series now, but at least they have these books that collect a lot of the, you know, reprints a lot of... Uh, Spongebob comics but anyways this Spongebob comics treasure chest uh, collects a lot of just random pages from the Spongebob comics now Spongebob comics aren't like exactly it's not just a comic that continues a story every month necessarily it's more like a bunch of mini short stories kind of like mini episodes of Spongebob you could say and let me tell you this this right here this is amazing i Look how, look how the size of it, here's my hand, right? So this is the size of the Spongebob Comics treasure chest. As you can see, when you get it, it's got Patrick, it's got Patrick and Spongebob on this side, right? So when you first get the book, this is how it looks like. Now, as you open it, you could see that this was just, it just showed Spongebob here and on the back it shows Patrick. So this is a really cool little detail they put here. Here's the side. Now, the price, when I first bought this book, it was $30. Now, I checked online, uh, I checked on Amazon, which is where I get most of my stuff, and it's not as available as it used to be. Now, I don't know about Barnes and & Nobles and, and, and stuff like that, but um, I would definitely grab this book. Um, so, here's the cover, right? You know, it's got all the gang together, SpongeBob treasure chest. And this is 30 bucks. Now, let me tell you the reason why this is a really, really good deal, in my opinion. Because, first of all, I love Spongebob comics. This, I I am a huge comic book reader. I read a lot of Marvel, DC. Lately, I've been reading even Image comics, right? But Spongebob comics are just so fun to read. It's like watching a classic episode of Spongebob every time. So, let's open it. And as you open the book, you can kind of see how it shows, like, you know, the bubbles and the... Now, this kind of shows you what the stories contain, right? The amount of stories. Now, this has a lot of stories, you know? Uh, it has, it goes up to 187 pages, as you could see right here. It's even got a bonus gallery, which is a really cool feature. Now, one of the coolest, coolest things about this book is that it features a free comic inside. I think they mentioned it. Um, yeah, see, look, it says includes bonus reprint of Spongebob comics number one and more hidden treasures inside now usually in Spongebob comics they collect it in like a smaller book but this is the first time they do like a big treasure sized one so let me tell you guys the quality of the paper is amazing it's even got an introduction by Steven Hillenberg uh, he painted this in 2011 <laughs> I don't know why he made the Spongebob like that but you know it's kind of you know it's a nice introduction that they got from him. Amazing covers. And see, here's like the contents of what a typical SpongeBob uh, comic would feature. It would show like just some, this is one story uh, written and drawn by someone. This is another story drawn by someone else, written by someone else. So, you know, I don't want to like spoil the whole comic, but I'll show you. They have like very interesting pages. For example, you got this whole this whole like uh brain image you know of spongebob it's a very interesting you know life of a jellyfish they even got like a bunch of pirate stories of them reading spongebob this kind of reminds me of the pirates from the spongebob movie in the beginning where they're out here where they're looking for spongebob uh episodes to watch and, and all these things uh for example they even got like fake 1940s ads like Bar uh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. These these look awesome. Doesn't this look pretty nice and authentic? Uh, you got different artists working on SpongeBob. Uh, you know you got different. Uh, you know these are actually undersea facts. This is a series called uh, Floatsome and Jetsome, ocean facts, and these are real ocean facts that I like reading for myself now here let me actually put my knee on it so it's easier to show you guys but you know you got spongebob and one one thing about this is that a huge chunk of it is like a long story so i think it's like from here to well not a huge chunk but you know a 
good amount of it has a story. So, for example, uh, well, there's like this story that covers up a lot of the book. Uh, it's like a long uh, underwater mermaid man barnacle boy uh, comic. It's as if you were actually reading a comic from the 60s, which is actually pretty cool. And here's SpongeBob, for example, drawing a comic. And he's kind of adding his own crayons on the comic. Now, this is awesome. Like, to me, this is a steal. This is a good price to me. $30 for all of this. Now, I know it just sounds like I'm, I'm promoting this stuff. But honestly, I'm, I've always been a fan of SpongeBob comics. So this is just amazing, in my opinion. Now, this is the story that takes up a good amount of the, uh, the book here. It's about Merman Man and Barnacle Boy. Uh, you know, as if it were one of their classic adventures. And let's see, for example, you know, you got this, you know, the classic uh, kind of art style. You know, they have many different art styles, many different writers. Uh, and so one really cool thing is they got a like really awesome poster gallery towards the end of the book. So this is just a bunch of artists doing incredibly detailed works on Spongebob and, and uh, fake posters and, you know, all these stuff. So the coolest thing that I want to show you guys now, let me just skip to the end here. So this is the last page. And it's like a cool little homage to Spongebob and the cartoon itself. And they got the bubbles here. Now, this is the coolest part. It comes with a free, free reprint of Spongebob Comics issue one. And look, let me show you. So it 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 kind of it came in like this. I I just I, I haven't touched it right now. Uh, I mean, you know, I have taken it out before, but you know, <laughs> I'm putting it as if it were like brand new, right? This is how it came in the book. So let's take a look at this. And so this is thirty dollars, including a full comic reprint. So so normally this is what SpongeBob comics look like. They look like this. You know, they even uh, skip ads. You know what I mean? They just go right to the comic. Uh, as far as I remember, I don't think they have ads in the comics at all. Um, so, for example, you got a reprint. Even even this front page is kind of a comic in and of itself. Now, the quality of the paper is a little bit reduced. It's a bit more of a kind of modern newspaper, if you can hear that. You see, it's like not... It's shiny, but not as shiny as, as this paper, right? So I think they had to make the paper just a little bit cheaper quality so that it could, um, so that they can include it in this for $30, you know what I mean? Which is understandable, honestly, in my opinion, but they got the full, they even have the, um, what is it called? The, um, pinup, right? They even have this, you can actually rip this page off and put it as a poster in your room if you want, um, which is pretty awesome. You know, they got the whole first issue reprint. And yeah, they even have it as if it were like they you know, they say, "Oh, second issue coming out in April." So even that even the even this that the, it's saying the second issue, even that they're they're putting it as if it really was printed um today. You know what I mean? I think issue 1, the original uh first issue of Smunchell Comics, I think it was printed out in um 2011 as far as I remember. And uh I've been reading a lot of Smunchell Comics. These are my favorite. So, yeah, so this is what it includes. It includes a comic, this much content, which is, as I said, 187 pages of content. Um, it's got a lot of different interesting art styles, interesting uh, stories to tell, you know. Looks like uh, different art. Now, some of the art might not be the most attractive like sometimes the art is like okay but i don't want to judge artists for this stuff you know everybody has their style i'm an artist myself so i don't like to just say oh this this artist has bad art it just depends on time on style on all these things right but this this art right here this is one of my favorites this is like a like a russian communist russia um mr krabs and the krabby patty this is actually pretty awesome the way they did like the the kind of noir black and black and white ink style a bit you know what i mean uh so they have some pretty interesting com concepts and stories here you know they got here it's kind of like a chain reaction in the room here uh, a quick little plankton story you know what i mean they got here patrick getting ice cream and you kind of got to read the story from here to here as far as i remember 
And so yeah, guys, this to me is a really, really good deal. If you love SpongeBob, if you like reading comics, if you love SpongeBob comics, I would definitely recommend you guys get this. And uh, and when you're done reading this comic, it fits nicely in here. So yeah, guys, here's how it comes in. And let's just say you're going to travel somewhere, or you're taking it to some, you know, to another room or whatever. You could. Oh, here, let me just tuck in the comic here. You could put this here. And you're good to go. And the cool, this is probably the coolest part. <laughs> it just shows Patrick right here. And right here it shows SpongeBob. And it shows SpongeBob as a lock to the treasure chest. So with that being said, that's it for this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you considering getting this? Uh, this came out, uh, I think it was two years ago, as far as I remember. But it's still available. Um... I think online, maybe Barnes and Nobles might have it. Uh, but yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend, recommend you guys check this out. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks again.